So I got something pretty neat for you guys. We're looking at the VMPC 2000 XL. Now this is an emulation. I actually have the real thing here in my studio. It's not mine. I'm actually servicing it for a friend, but it's been here for the last four years. Reason it's really difficult to get parts for this unit. But recently I found a company that sells the replacement screens. Now here's the thing. If you have one of these over the years, lines are going to start appearing. It's going to start fading and you can't really use it. But anyway, this just came along, I found it online, and it works just like the real hardware. Now, this isn't going to be a tutorial or anything. I just want to load some of the sounds that it came with. So what's the price tag on this unit? It's actually free and it's open source. Yep, it's open source, meaning you can go to GitHub, download the source code and fix some problems and new features. Now, this isn't perfect. There are some issues. One of the things I noticed, 16 levels doesn't work with my controller. Whenever I press the pads, it won't function properly. It'll actually play the sound that's originally there. Instead of doing this, it'll play the kick, snare, or the piano that's originally there. I don't know why it does that. Maybe I'm missing something. Now, on the original one, if you have the studio version, you can hook up multiple outputs and lock the systems together and you can record each track. It's one thing I would love to see. How can you export your audio? There is a VST version of this plugin. So maybe loading that stuff up within Pro Tools. Maybe you can print the tracks out individually. And that's possibly how we can go about doing this. Maybe I'll make a video on that as well. But I want to thank you for watching my video. Do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. It actually does help. Press that subscribe button. There's going to be useful information there. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.